yeah, I'm excited about it because I, I do not with my between my EDS and my pots. I found I do not have the strength to style my hair or, or you know the joints that stay in place. Good morning, friends. I I'm tired. <laughs> I had to wake up early so, to have a doctor appointment and to be able to edit the vlog, fix my hair, um, take a nap. The nap's the big reason actually. Actually the only reason if it wasn't for the nap I would have not gotten up early. <laughs> but I had to make sure I can fit in an hour long nap. So I got up early. And so I'll take my nap in a couple hours and so, but anyways. I'm really excited because yesterday I think. Mama got this brush flat iron thing in the mail. No idea what brand it's by. This isn't sponsored. But I don't know the brand because she already took it out of the box and the brand isn't plastered onto the brush. <laughs> but I'm really happy because it tells you the exact temperature on there and you can't actually accidentally turn it off easily because you have to hold down the button to turn it on and off. found that out when I was freaking out because it went turn on when I plugged it in. You have to hold down the button until it turns on. But I'm excited about this. Mama said one of her, uh, the YouTubers she follows is friends with um, has one of these and that works really well. And I was hesitant to believe it until she was until she saw the results from someone that you know, wasn't a commercial. <laughs> and so, I, yeah, I'm excited about it. Because I, I do not, with my, between my EDS and my pots, I found I do not have the strength to style my hair or, or you know, the joints that stay in place or the blood pressure that doesn't drop. So it doesn't really work. So if all I have to do to flat iron my hair is brush it really quickly, I can manage that most days. So, I don't know, I'm excited about this and I'm anxious. I'll get started. Okay, I heard that you don't have to do it very long and that because there's so many mini flat iron probes, try to come up with tons, um, you don't have to do small strains of hair at a time like you do with a flat iron, so that makes it really quick. And, which makes sense. And I'm excited about that aspect. So let's see if it's true. I have it at the hottest setting because it's in Celsius and I don't know what the difference No Celsius because America didn't think learning it was important. <laughs> I could learn it if, you know, America used it. I might learn it even either way and just like focus on learning it other places. I don't know it's harder. It feels like it's working. The hair feels a lot smoother. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I'll tell you all the story of why I do have mixed feelings on my ophthalmologist like I mentioned the other day because I mentioned I'd tell you all Friday when I went but it's Thursday because apparently my appointment's Thursday not Friday <laughs> and so what, what happened was when I saw him originally a year ago he was awesome I was so happy because I went in ha expecting him to educate him on EDS because EDS uh, causes eye problems I had so many problems in my teenage years with my eye prescription changing every three to six months it was horrible and so and it can cause other problems too and so I was gonna ha expecting to have to educate him on that so he could look for the problems but I went in and he already knew all about EDS and he was kind and he was funny and so I was like really happy and so I was just so happy that he knew about EDS and that he seemed like a great guy and so, I still trust him as an ophthalmologist. 
However, he should not be getting, giving medical opinions outside of his field, in my opinion, to his patients. Or the snide remarks. Because <laughs> what happened is Kelly went and she, as y'all know, has all the allergies and she has mast cell activation syndrome. It causes her to go into allergic reactions and anaphylaxis to anything. And um, that when she went, she actually was having to be very careful with her mask, not taking it off more than absolutely necessary because they were burning the field many fields to get rid of dead trees and stuff and the area and the smoke caused her to go into severe allergic reactions well not I don't know what they are well whatever the doctors were like I'm confused what they say because she goes into this type of reaction whatever kind of reaction it is I don't know if it's allergic or what but she goes into the reaction she can pass out she can go into all kinds of stuff and it's really dangerous for her and so what she went in and she was having to be very careful the um nurses were very accommodating and trying to be keep her safe as possible they were like super sweet and friendly i love the nurses though and so they were super sweet and friendly and trying to help her so she didn't go into allergic reaction and um however she went into allergic reaction to the dilation drops and so that was bad and like it really messed up her vision and she got sick and so that wasn't good and the doctor made snide, snide and ableist comments about how well you don't need to be allergic to all these things and was making comments as if she insinuating that she has control over what she's allergic as if you tell that to any like say kid who's has a peanut allergy or has a dairy allergy or a shellfish allergy. Well, you know, she has a shellfish allergy. She has a dairy allergy. She has a peanut allergy. It's just she also has a bunch of other allergies. And people don't have control over the allergies they have. She has a medical condition. So it's really annoying and that he was, that was so ableist and so frustrating. So Kelly's going to see a new optometrist or ophthalmologist because she doesn't want to deal with him being ableist to her. She was so, it was rude. I mean seriously, are you gonna look at someone on the floor having anaphylaxis and be like, "Well, you shouldn't have been allergic. You should not let yourself be allergic to that peanut. You know, it'd be helpful if you could eat peanuts." No. So that was annoying, but I'm still gonna see him today because. He is a good ophthalmologist, and I'm not seeing him from any of my medical conditions, other than medical conditions. Than the flat iron. Cause with the flat iron, I have to put up my hair and I have to do like that. Let's oh. turn it out for a second. Cause I have to, the way I have to move my shoulders, it really hurts them. And uh, it makes my blood pressure drop, but that's so much easier because it's not as high of a movement above my head. And so brushing's easier movement for me. And it didn't take as long either. Hello, guys. Oh, hi. <laughs> you are getting a view from Mama's phone today because I brought my camera and left the battery in the charger at, at the house. So I went to an on and that's why. <laughs> but we are currently stuck behind a train. Um, at least it's moving now. It completely stopped on the tracks for a minute there. Um, we didn't know how long we were going to be stuck here because I have a doctor appointment. I didn't, make, I didn't kill the train into the equation. Yeah, the time. she wasn't counting trains into the equation, so might be, we'll be a little late. Uh, well, we might not be. We oh. still have about 30 minutes, I think. Okay, cool. But yeah, we're going to the doctor. We're going to go, after that, we'll go to Whole Foods. We'll go to the
the clinic to pick up my medical records since they're ready. We're going to go Oh, we're going to at home. That's right. Yay, we're getting spice jars. I recommended at home to a friend of mine, Felicia, the other day, and she immediately went and she didn't find a dress like she was looking for, but she found lots of decor. <laughs> yeah. like, that place is dangerous. I it love is. it. <laughs> I love it. It's dangerous. <laughs> they just have so much cute stuff. And uh, so, yeah. Is that the end? My own sword. We're hoping. No caboose. But Yay! That's the end. end of the Yay. train. We can get back on the road. So see y'all in a bit. Those trees. The, the only really autumnal looking trees we found so far. Oh, they're maples. That makes sense why they're so pretty. Oh, I love it. They're so oh, and look. Glory <gasps> and glories. Bagweed. Yay! Ugh. Done at the ophthalmologist, and I can barely focus on anything right now because I had my eyes dilated, and so I'm gonna be wearing these sunglasses until the dilation wears off. But I'm relying to try to record stuff on my phone on memory of where everything is because <laughs> I can't see the buttons and what they say. But thankfully, I was using it right before a little bit ago before the looking, dilation so I was I looking to make sure that it was actually I heard it's, that it make a noise so okay. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully I used the cam on here before on the way so even though I've been dilated now I can't actually see the buttons <laughs> I was able to remember where they were but now we're gonna go pick up my medical records and go to the other places yay I'm hot I'm going and resting <laughs> And the first thing I did was put my pajamas on. I really needed them, but I am happy because I can see again. I can focus. I couldn't focus on things for the longest time, and now I can. Thanks to the dilation wearing off. But I do feel more tired than usual because of it. But I'm happy it's one off, and I'm happy to have my camera back and not have to use my phone. Um, the glasses won't be ready till tomorrow. I did get the chance to pick out my frames. Yay! And, but. They won't be ready tomorrow since we went to the, near the end of the working day and so they won't be ready even though they have one hour service. But that's okay. Hopefully one I can pick them up then. I got both a pair of sunglasses and a pair of regular glasses so I'm really happy about that. And my ophthalmologist said that my eyes not get worse. They did change but they're not better or worse. It's just a different prescription so that's why I was having more trouble focusing. So I'm relieved because Thanks to EDS, I have lots of eye problems, and like especially in my teenage years, my eyes would change every three to six months, and I was like in bifocals when I was like, oh, how old was I? 14? So I've had a lot of eye problems due to my EDS, and I was really hoping they weren't getting worse again, but they were okay, so I'm relieved, and I'm excited to shake out my glasses. I'm really happy with them. So I'm excited. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we're going to go to TJ Maxx, but I want well, asked after we set up the frames if I wanted to go still, but I could tell that if I did that, I'd be doing really badly. It would be, I'd be really doing bad damage to my body, and I probably wouldn't be able to get out of bed tomorrow if I did that. And so I knew I could, I knew I could need help, did get home and rest. So that's what we did. But I also have this to show y'all. Got it at... Whole Foods is make you with a little tiny pumpkin. We also got them for Hannah and Caroline, and we got some for to decorate the kitchen with. So I'm happy with it. It's so cute and little. But yeah, I'm just gonna rest in bed and drink coffee and cuddle hedgies and put some TV on. And since we picked up my metal records, I'll look over those and see what I've got in there. But. Yeah, it feels nice to be back in bed. It's been a long day, and my brain could get some productive stuff done, make some dishes this evening, but I know my body needs rest for now. So, I'll see you all in a bit. Huh? <laughs> what? 
Oh. I thought you said something about being in a laundromat. I'm really happy that I made the choice to come home when I think and did and didn't continue shopping. I'm really happy I listened to my body because so often being chronically ill, I try to push myself. But because when you're chronically ill, you have to push yourself constantly because just to get anything done, just to get a meal, you're pushing yourself. And so it's hard to know when to stop pushing yourself and to allow yourself to rest. And I often push myself too far because of it. I push myself really far and then I rebound and I get really sick for days or weeks. It can last a really long time. Sometimes it lasts a month. <laughs> um, so it can be really bad. So I, for a shopping trip like this, it's, usually, it's not a month usually. Usually for a shopping trip, it, if I push myself too far, it's a few days. Maybe a week. But... Um, so I'm really happy I didn't do that. That I listened to my body because it's hard to do that and to slow down and tell myself you don't have to do everything today. You can wait because I know I'm used to just doing everything as I can do it because I know it may not happen later. Also, often it doesn't happen later, and so it's really hard to stop to let myself wait. But I told myself to rest and. I'm happy about it because my body needs it because I am not recovering as quickly as I thought I would. I thought if I rested for an hour or two, I'd feel up to doing stuff. But I've just been lying here doing nothing. I'm not even watching new anime. I just have some repeat stuff that's stuff because I can't, I don't even have the strength to read subtitles right now. And so I'm just laying here and resting and it's been three hours and I haven't improved with coffee, even though I've had coffee and I've been resting that long. So I'm really happy that I listened. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get some more rest, but I wanted to update you guys. Caroline had a dysonomia crash, but she we medicated her and helped her and she's improving. I'm really appreciative sure that Hannah and Mama put, have taken a lot of time to help her because they were taking care of her, which meant I was able to rest which I need so thankfully she's improving and she can move her legs again yay so I'm gonna go hopefully tomorrow I can pick up my glasses we'll see because I don't know what every day will contain so I hope we can fit it in so but oh, I'm just so happy that that nap helped me <laughs> I still feel wiped. I won't be any, doing anything for the rest of the night. I'll just be laying in bed watching TV. But I'll try to get, stay awake for two more hours and I'll get a good night's sleep. So, but anyway, so I'm going to go cut all hedgies and watch TV. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, be awesome for watching. Thank you. Bye.